Yo, what's up guys? Galaxis here with another Castle Clash video and we are here on my main account doing a little bit of Guild Wars run. Told you guys in my last video that I would upload a video of some Guild Wars runs. This is a straight Guild Wars run with no editing. I just went in and, you know, really tried this new hero out. Walla Walla got him evolved at level 164 and on this first attack I'm going to just go ahead and drop my pumpkin duke over on these troops and try and get the PD to start stacking and then I'm going to throw a couple heroes down and sort of see how it goes now you know normally I don't exactly do it like this but this is going to be a head on attack and so there we go I got Walla Walla out there I got my pumpkin duke and Ares out there and those guys alone are really just devastating this guy here I've dropped Dread Drake in over there and you know really I should have had my Ghoulam and Michael in a little bit earlier but I was just sort of uh, mesmerized looking at what Walla Walla was doing and look I mean he's just really putting in a lot of work here uh, you know, he's keeping Ares alive. He's giving Ares that extra attack. You can see that sword up over the red sword. Um, you know, he's really just increasing everything and giving everybody a lot of uh, extra bonus attack. And that's helping out. So you see, I lost my pumpkin duke, but then I went ahead and dropped Michael in and dropped Ghulam in and come in and clean it up. Really, I probably wouldn't have lost Pumpkin Duke if I put Ghulam and Michael down earlier. But got 491 points for that. It's pretty cool. And uh, starting to look for another victim, somebody else that I could find to be able to do the same thing. Let's go in, get the Pumpkin Duke revived. Had to spend the 10 gems for that. But um, 491 for my first score. I was pretty happy with that. So going back in, looking for another good target. And um, I'm going to be looking for somebody that I can drop in on and not end up just getting, you know, annihilated when you drop. So we're not trying to see any gunslingers in there. This one, uh, you know, this guy actually has a pretty strong crew. So, um, you know, I had a lot of nerve coming in on this. But went ahead and dropped Dread Drake, dropped everybody in there, and we get going. So check it out. All these level 200. We got level 200 Michael. Look at that. We're taking guys out. We got... We got Rockno in there. You know, I was like, okay, I got to get the hell out of here. <laughs> it's like, no, 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 no. That's just way too much, man. That's way too much. But, um, you know, definitely try to drop it in there and see what we can get. So I decided that, um, you know, that guy might be a little bit, little bit out of my league, but we're going to try again uh, just to see if we can at least get some penetration on the base. This is 500 points here. There's a Rockno on there, and there's a lot of money on the table. So I'm like, man, you know, maybe I can – Maybe I can come in at a different angle. So I dropped my guys out over on the side there. You can see that sort of helped out a little bit. We did lose Michael, but, um, you know, we started dropping and, and losing heroes left and right. It's like, okay, forget about that. Just not really feeling that. Uh, trying again here. We go back in. We're going to try the same thing. I'm trying to put my Aries out there, and I'm trying to put Walla Walla out on the side and, um, you know, get a chance to, to get those guys procking. Walla Walla, uh, drop him out a little bit to be able to at least get everything started a little bit ahead of time, get him stacking, you know, getting ready to uh, start procking. So we drop everybody in here, and this is a head-on trying to uh, take this guy on head-on. He has a Skull Knight in there. He has Grim Fiend in there. He has a Rockno in there. I'm like, oh, my God, this is crazy. Did you see that? We just annihilated, we just annihilated his crew right there. And, I mean, that was 500 points I got for that. So that was really, really nice. On um, my third shot, you know, trying to, to send everybody in on the other side actually worked a lot better. But we had Skull Knight in there. There was a Rock Note that we were going up against. They were all level 200. I mean, yeah, man, this, this new hero, this new hero is insane. So here we go again. This is 507 points, and you can see there's um, Gunslinger in there, so I realized, man, I mean, this isn't going to go too far with a Gunslinger on defense. You guys all know how that goes. The War Flyers can crush you, so had to back up off of that a little bit and see if we can find a little bit of a better target. So we got a Skull Knight in there. We got a Michael. There's an Anubis in there. That's a little bit scary, Anubis. And then I see Gunslinger on the side, too. I'm like, is that Gunslinger? Oh, hell no. No, man, forget that. So I got out of there. Wasn't even going to try that. Anubis and Gunslinger, too. Are you crazy? So here we go. Looking at these guys here. We got pretty pretty strong defensive team. They're all level 200. Got a Skull Knight. But, um, you know, there's an Ares in there. There is Trixie Treat in there. You know, a little bit dangerous. Definitely a little bit dangerous, but I think we're going to 
make a stab at this one because, um, you know, that's 493 points on the table that we can pick up. So I drop my guys out here, and I believe what I'm going to do here is drop on the right side. I actually um, drop Aries, I think, out there and Walla Walla on the right side, get them to start going to work and, you know, breaking down his defense. And, um, you know, we do that, and then I drop everybody else really close to the heroes over there. Uh, we start trying to draw Trixie Treat out and, uh, you know, try and see if we can get those guys off guard be able to take them out of the equation. So that's what I was thinking. That's the idea that I was having. I, I wasn't sure whether this would work, but I was definitely willing to take a shot and give it a try. So here we go. We drop Walla Walla in. We drop Aries in on the side. Those two will start causing problems here for these guys. And then what we're going to do is going to go ahead and get in here, drop in with Dread Drake, see if we can get it going. And it's not looking good at all. So I was like, okay, well, that... That definitely didn't go the way I wanted it to. We'll try and see if we can get that going a little bit smoother. Uh, you know, another way to be able to get it going a little bit smoother. So here we go. We're coming with a direct attack. Just head-on attack. See if we can get them this way. Ah, we lost too many people right off the bat. So I was like, okay. And eh, we'll try it again. We'll go back in. We're going to see if we can get the same thing going. I think we go on with a head-on attack again. And most of these attacks are head-on. You know, because I'm not using a sniping team. So this is a head-on collision. And, uh, you know, it's just really, really impressive what Walla Walla is able to do. And he's not even double evolved, just single Evo. And I only have him at 7 of 10, which I am working on bringing him up, bringing his skill level up. So I'll get you guys another video up. I think I'm going to at least be able to bring him to 9 of 10. So we're going to be working on doing that. And I'll get a video up for you guys probably tomorrow about what he can do at 9 of 10. But So here we go again. Coming in with the same setup. We're seeing can we can we overcome those guys. We got extra attack and we're starting to lose people again. Like, yeah, it's not looking too good there. That was three attempts that we went at that uh, guy, 192,000 might. And um, I started thinking about him. Like, if this doesn't work this time, I think I'm going to go search for another target because uh, this is the fourth attempt trying to make a run at this guy but again 493 points on the table there's not a gunslinger so you know i'm going to give it a shot see if we can overcome these guys here all we need to do is get everybody to start healing there you go got Gulam going and look see that's what i was saying once you get Gulam and uh, walla walla going together it just gets crazy we did you know it did was slow at the beginning but once we got going it was insane so there you go. I mean, that's exactly what I was talking about. I, and I'm using Ghulam and Walla Walla together. So, you know, the question a lot of people are having is, can I just drop Ghulam from my team and, uh, you know, use Walla Walla since he's a hero, a hero, a healing hero? Sorry. But, uh, yeah, you know, I would I would say in some cases, yeah, you could. But in the instance that I'm doing this, a head on collision, just head on attack in Guild Wars, I'm using them both out there. And it, it's really, really making a big difference. You can see I'm running through and just steamrolling over people. So here we have Grim Fiend sitting in there, probably a stone skin Grim Fiend. Um, you know, there's a Skull Knight, a bunch of dangerous, dangerous heroes in there. So we can see if we're going to be able to head on and penetrate this base. Ares is in there doing his job. Got a little bit of debuff coming from Walla Walla. Got guys out in the front taking a lot of damage. And no, that, that wasn't going to go. So... Went down to 180. Now I'm starting to lose points. I'm starting to lose a lot of points here down to 477. So, And there's a gunslinger. I seen smoke. I think I looked a little bit closer. I'm like, I think that's gunslinger. Is that gunslinger? Yeah, we're getting out of here. We're not going to. And there's an Anubis right there. Like, are you tripping? No. No, definitely not going to deal with that. So we didn't want to go any lower, 180,000. So we're going to try and look for somebody else. So far, we got 491, 500, and um, let's see. We're going to try and see. I think we get another one that's really close to 500. Go in here and take a look and see what these guys are working with. We got a Skull Knight in there. There's an Anubis there. All these guys are level 200. My guys are only level 180 besides my Dread Drake. I mean, yeah, that's, that's a little bit on the dangerous side little bit on the dangerous side but um just taking a look do you think there's any way that we can run 
through. It might be possible. There is Anubis. There is uh, an Ares in there. There's a lot of dangerous heroes in there. But if we get going first, we can take these guys out and hit them hard. This is what head-on collision is all about. Just get in there, start putting in work, and look at that. Walla Walla, you are just amazing, man. You are amazing. And once we get going, there's just no stopping us. I did lose my punk in there, but there's just no stopping us. 481 points. So we'll take the 481. That's pretty close to 500. I'd like to get 500 on all of my attacks. If I could get 500, hit that 2,500 mark, makes me really happy. But, um, you know, we'll take a little bit shy. So check it out, man. We're, we're really just running through. So that's two times that I've had to um, gem back my pumpkin dude. So PD, I mean, I need to get him double evolved. I don't know what I'm, what I'm waiting for. But I'm going to get him double evolved, and then we won't have that problem with him dying like that. So that's going to make a big difference. All right, so here we go, man. This is the last attack. We're looking for somebody else with a lot. Need somebody with a lot of points. This guy here has 478 points. Not too bad. Not too shabby. I'd like to see it a little bit closer to 500. But he has an Anubis in there. Uh, you know, that looks a little bit dangerous. But we're going to give it a shot. See if we can get this thing going. I mean, you know, usually I don't even attempt to try and run up on Anubis and guys like that. But, you know, I'm feeling a little bit bold with Walla Walla on the team out there. So... We're going to keep on going here. I think I'm going to try and get this top, the top guy in their guild, 186,000 might. A little bit over where I am. But um, these guys look like they may be a good prime candidate there. We got an Ares. You know, nobody that's really going to be able to stop me on defense. So go ahead and uh, we're going to just head on once again. And if you guys have watched my videos for a while, you know I like to just head on. You know, my sniper team uh, is cool, but I, I really like to do a lot of head on just full out force and might and just try and overcome them but here we go we're starting to get going things are looking good walla walla do your job oh we lost pumpkin duke again we're up oh, we're dropping nope people are dropping like flies now it's not going to work all right so here we go we're going to go ahead and come down a little bit because that guy is just a little bit on the tough side so i didn't want to didn't want to take a chance of getting over 50 percent and come up short trying to get as close as I can to 500 on the attack. So here we go. These guys, actually, uh, you know, this isn't too bad of a, a defensive squad. You know, I didn't have to worry too much. He, he had a Snowzilla out there and, um, you know, just didn't really have a uh, Gunslinger, any of the auto proc heroes that I'm really too concerned about. There is a little Nick. Little Nick can hit pretty hard. But there my Michael is going off. Need Michael to start kicking in. Need my healers to kick in. Get everything going. And if we stay in one spot, yeah, we're starting to drop. We dropped Pumpkin Duke. I knew it was not good because we hadn't hadn't really gotten far enough to be losing, you know, to have Pumpkin Duke down. If we were like 50% through, then that would be a, a different thing. I could go ahead and probably make it through without Pumpkin Duke if a lot of their heroes were down. But, yeah, losing him that early on definitely wasn't working. All right, so here we go. We're going to take that. Santa Boom out. Ares is able to stop him from being able to proc. And then we're able to get those guys out of the way. You can see Michael is starting to get all up into the base and start taking people out. Once we start going, you guys know how fast it'll get going. All of that extra bonus, the extra boost from Walla Walla. And uh, yeah, there we go. We got extra attack speed from Michael. That's why I was using that combination. But uh, man, really turned out to be a great Guild Wars run for me. Uh, Walla Walla is amazing. I got close to 2,500. So hopefully you guys liked the video. Go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. And get subscribed if you're new. Catch you guys next time. I'm out of here. Peace.